Hey everyone, uh, just realized my mic was off the whole time I was talking. This is Screen Singer, and welcome to Battletoads. Um, pretty excited for this one. It's one of the few games on this collection I've actually owned. I can't remember if there's a video here, like a little short intro if you wait for a minute, so I'm gonna just hold off a second and see. Crash sits pimple. It's interesting that uh Princess Angelica. Yeah. Interesting that Zitz is brown in this. I think in later games Pimple was the brown one. That's how I think it was in Battletoads Arcade and uh Battletoads and Double Dragon. It's a nearby planet, why does it take me 13 levels to get there? So Pimple's the big one, he can't protect himself? such a hard-on for her when I was a, a kid. Like, a hard-on was. I had one for the Dark Queen. Alright. Um, let me do one thing. So I actually started playing this game um, once before, and I got to the level where you have to run, uh, race a bunch of rats down to uh, disarm some bombs before they can set them off, and the game glitched. I kicked the bomb and then just nothing happened. So this time I'm going to be smarter, and I'm going to actually make some saves as I go along. Aww. Went off screen, I couldn't get it. I always suck at eating the flies, it doesn't seem like it should be that hard, I just suck at it. Yep, oh, flying pig is still alive. Damn. Oh, and I lost a life. I wasn't expecting that. Uh. I don't have infinite lives. This game is going to be very unforgiving for me. I thought that that was something you always had on Rare Replay. Oh, I missed all those guys. Got him. All 
All right, before I go any further, <clears throat> I know it's cheap, but yeah, see, I kind of want that on right now. Uh, and I'm probably going to be using the rewind a little bit in this version. I didn't do that before. But the fact of the matter is, um, I will never get through certain levels like the turbo tunnel if I don't, so. I love these little feather swords. So when I was in college, I was a screenwriting major. And I wrote a sci-fi um, where people... There were a lot of video game references, and one of them was uh, a long action scene where they're like rappelling down a vertical tunnel the whole way, and it was basically my way of... Uh, Paying homage to this game. It's just always been one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Even though I suck at it. Like, the Rare Replay's Infinite Lives is basically something I have to enable because I was the kind of guy that couldn't play games without a Game Genie. I mean, I was a child. I'm not a child anymore, I just still suck at old school games. I wonder how they do that, how they just sort of... Man, I, I can never seem to miss these. Uh, how they just sort of transform into boulders. Same question with how their fists get so big. Seriously, I admire people who can dodge that electricity. I kicked him backwards. I just ran into him with my ass. I want Toads to be the next, like, horrible video game movie. I mean, animated movies for video games can be alright. The animated Resident Evil games are alright. Um... Advent Children was weird, but okay. The Final Fantasy... Is it 12 movie that's coming out? Looks decent. Maybe it's not 12. Maybe it's like 50. I don't know. There's some new animated Final Fantasy movie coming out with Aaron Paul that looks like it might be okay. Um, I didn't see Ratchet and Clank because, honestly, I wasn't even that big a fan of the games. Well, technically I dodged that one, but it doesn't count. And that made me realize I think you're supposed to just dodge on the side, not through the middle.
think it's weird that you get attacked by space invaders, guys. I miss that little life square, but does it matter? I mean, let's face it. This is not the part of the game I'm worried about dying excessively on. What I'm worried about is having to constantly rewind during the uh, actual turbo tunnel section. God damn it. I think I got one. Alright, off to the races. So what was cool about this section in uh, Battletoads Double Dragons is if I remember you could actually attack while you were on this thing like there were enemies coming at you. See I'm just gonna rewind that part. Because seriously, if I don't rewind during this, we will be here all day. Some of them it's hard to tell where exactly to rewind to. <laughs> Which is why you get stupid crap like what just happened. Well, that part I was just plain distracted. You gotta really keep your eyes open during these levels. You can't just look away like a moron. And that was stupid. See, shit like that. Like, what did I even fuck up there? Like, really, what did I fuck up there? Because I could not tell you. Like, I can't figure out why I'm just falling past that part. See, that one was okay. Really? Yeah, I'm just gonna rewind all the way back to- cause seriously. Oh, 
Hold on, I'll answer your question in a second. Uh. No, no kangaroos. Uh, rats. Kangaroos are assholes, though. I'd gladly beat some up. Prince of Battletoads? Not a hundred percent sure what you're talking about. Yep. I try not to use the rewind too much. Um, but on some of these levels, I wouldn't I wouldn't get anywhere if I didn't. Especially the the turbo tunnel and then this level is pretty bad too. It just lurched to life on its own accord. That was kind of weird. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, see, I'm using the rewind on that one because that was stupid on my part. Damn it. Son of a bitch, did he really? Uh-uh. Fuck you. Bitch-ass snowman? Well, I had that one coming. What kangaroos are you seeing in this game? Oh, 
hell. I got what you meant by Prince of Battletoads now. I should have gotten it when you mentioned the Sands of Time. Oh, thanks for the follow. Do you stream? I jumped on it like a million times. There we go. Damn it. Fucking hell. Just gonna wait for it to come back. thing has to get bored and stop sometime. That's fine. That was actually a good place to die, in some ways. <laughs> oh my god, just like a steady stream of them starts falling down, that's crazy. We can do better than that. stretch. I sort of remember this part. I especially remember, yeah, sucking at it. Wait, how did I survive that time? I didn't actually do anything different after I, un <laughs> after I stopped rewinding. Just, just stop falling, damn it. This is just, this is just pathetic, okay. There we go, Jesus. This one.
Oh cool, I'll be sure to follow you when this is over. Ready for big blag. Cheapest way to beat him. Ah, yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna start that part over. They're kind of randomized, so sometimes on this part it's almost better to just start it over instead of rewinding if you don't, if they're kind of clustered together like they were in that one part. So it's interesting to me that this place is called Karnath's Lair, but based on his design in uh, Battletoads Arcade, none of these snakes is actually Karnath. It's kind of hard to figure out the jump. There we go. Ah, 
I am never going to speedrun this game. <laughs> I think there are very few games on a uh, rare replay on this collection that I could speedrun. I am actually a little bit better at Battletoads Arcade, um, but that one's also just kind of all around easier than this one. God damn it. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright. It would take a lot of practice for me to be able to speedrun this. And I have no idea where this guy- oh, there he is. Okay. Kinda just took a leap of faith there. Oops. Alright, I think this is the last one, but I really don't know. That was stupid, okay. It's- the way you have to do this part is really weird. Um... That's definitely not it. Yeah, okay. I guess you can just drop down, I was trying to hold on to the other part of him. I remembered on the last playthrough, um, before the game glitched, when I'd done this level, I actually did manage to somehow just kind of drop right at the moment, at the right moment, and grab onto the other part of him. Maybe I was mistaken. Or maybe I was just better the last last time than I am this time. I guess it's not impossible. Tell me about how hot it's going to get down there, Dark Queen. Volkmeyer's Inferno. Named after a uh, character who appeared in, um, what was it called? Battle Maniac? Or Battle Ma the Whatever, the sequel to this game. He was uh, also in the comics. Which I think, I know the comics came before the sequel to the game. I don't know if they came before the game or not. I mean, if that was the first place he appeared, and this level's named after him, I would certainly assume that's where he, he came from. That was a leap of faith. I love in, in old school games where uh, missing a jump like that means, like, appearing on the ledge you were trying to get to in the first place. <laughs> I, I rewound to make up for my screw-up and I just kind of ended up making it worse.
And thanks a lot, because now I can't stop seeing these rats as anything other, th other than uh, kangaroos. Come here, Space Invader guys. I think those things are supposed to be rats too, they're just not like messed up looking rats. And this part's gonna need some rewinding. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to happen that soon. So one of the sucky things about this part is, um... And we're not actually to it yet. Is, uh, towards the very end of it... Damn it. Uh... <laughs> There's a part where it does the opposite of what it's doing right now. They're closing instead of, uh, yeah, like this. So towards the end of this section, it starts happening kind of like that, where, damn it. Basically, it closes almost right at the edge of the screen. So you have to be on the edge of the screen, and you have to basically know where they're going to appear. So... I don't really know how they ever expected anyone to get that without this rewind ability. I mean, I can't imagine I was the only one playing this game as a child. I think on the Game Genie you actually had invulnerability, so that you, uh, you just didn't have to worry about hitting things because you weren't going to have to start the section over anyway. But they didn't make it that easy for Rare Replay, because let's face it, when you have this rewind, you don't need it to be quite that easy. That would just almost be too much. I think we're getting close to the part I was talking about. Yeah, that's it. it gets worse. That part at the very end is just a bitch and a half. Like, seriously. I mean, seriously, look at how far apart those are away. Alright. 
I feel like... Can I pause it in the middle of a rewind? This is so... God, I think it took me about this many tries the first time, too. Jesus. Thank God that's where it ends. I couldn't deal with any more of that crap. This level's not great, but it's not too bad. And you get to fight Robo Manus at the end. He's like one of the more well known villains from this series. He's tough, too. It's. I'm gonna die a million times fighting him, I can tell you that right now. He's very, very tough. Fucker, get off of me. I'm not even going to bother trying to kill that guy. To speak for yourself, this game is easy. I mean, it's possible I just suck at it, but damn. Jesus. that little thing to finish. Holy hell. Yeah, it's hard to believe this game was marketed towards kids sometimes. I feel like this was probably the game that taught little kids to rage quit. Either that, or it was made to sold game to uh, sell game genies. I could actually sort of see that. Really?
I think I'm getting close to Robo Manus. That's true. Granted, there is almost a benefit to be games being shorter back then. Like, I was looking in, uh, all three of the first Saberman games came out in the same year. And those were actually kind of long. Here's Robo Manus, looking way different in this game than he looks in any of the others. I love that little death waddle when you get flattened. It reminds me of uh, some of the cooler deaths in um, the Ninja Turtles arcade game. Because I think you could get flattened in that one too. I'll also say this, some of the older games that were technically short felt pretty long. I played a Gun Fright the other night. It Apparently it only took me about an hour to get through all 20 bandits, but it felt way longer because it was just the same gameplay over and over again. That's a cool thing about this game is, as much as I, I sort of hate the vehicle parts, at least they change it up a bit. Paratubes. Whoops. Oh, I haven't made a single save since I started this. Um, once I beat this level, I should do that. Because the next level is the one that I um, got glitched on last time I played. Play that whole part. It was a good part for rewind because these things seriously kill you as soon as you run into them. Even though you have to hit them like three times. Whoops. That's another reason it's good for rewind is because I suck at parts like that. It's weird how he kind of glitches out of the tube when you punch him. Oh, I hate these parts. <laughs> Alright. Really? There we go. Uh, this game I don't think came out in arcade cabinets. Um, 
They did have a Battletoads arcade game, though. It's on the same collection, and it's actually really cool. Um, I had never seen it in arcade, so I'd never played it before. That was just stupid on my part. God, all these parts where you have to fall a certain way. I don't know about this game coming out in our arcade cabinet, so maybe it did. Because there's that, um... What's that game called? The Wiz Kid? About the kid who's, like, really good at Nintendo and shit. Um, you see him playing games on arcade cabinets that I didn't think ever existed in arcades, like the original Ninja Turtles game. So unless that movie's just got anachronisms in it, um, it's possible I just don't know what games came out in cabinets. But I didn't think this one did. God damn it. There's got to be a better way to do this. Patience for these fucking fish. Alright. Well, that was stupid. Alright. So was that.
I didn't even realize I was going silent. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm a little focused. You can duck? Alright, there we go. Ah. Uh. I think I'm getting towards the end of this level. I don't really remember. This... A lot of it's just swimming and running away from shit, so it all kind of, uh... Damn it. Damn it! Alright. I'm gonna rewind a bunch. I'm gonna do that because I'm gonna go a bit more slowly while I'm running away from this guy. Oh, Echo the Dolphin, that takes me back. Uh, no, that was Dickface the Mini Shark. Come on, bro. played Echo in a long time. It's kind of a weird game. Back on it. Okay, this is where I need to save. Uh, oh, I don't know that I see that in my future. Probably gonna make another save just right before the the last rat. <clears throat> There's three, if I remember correctly. Although, technically, I think they're all the same rat. Um, I think his name is Scuzz. Here we go. Nope. Rewinding that. Apparently there's a way when they alternate like that to pretty much just fall straight down, but it takes timing that I do not possess. Damn it.
Whoops. God damn it. All right, another save. Yes, I am sure. But I don't want it glitching on me again. Especially considering even with Rewind, it, it took me a lot of tries to get this right last time. You really have to be damn near perfect. Which is why I'm going to be rewinding a lot even if I make the slightest screw-ups. Was it called The Wiz? I thought that was the Wizard of Oz musical. He is so gonna get to that bomb before I do. Yep. Oh, well, that's okay. was a mess up. Damn, 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 that was so close. Oh, I just need to do a little bit better. Thank God. Okay, so that guy's name was actually not Scuzz, his name was Giblet, and uh, this is General Slaughter. General Slaughter? I have no idea what the hell he's supposed to be though. A dog? No, he has horns. Okay. Um. Yeah, I, I thought, I knew there was a Battletoads arcade. I didn't know the original had an arcade cabinet. So yeah, I imagine people lost a lot of quarters to this game.
Man, this level must be really hard if you're playing on two players. Because imagine both people having to be able to race quick enough to- I don't know why I was rewinding, it's not like I can die. Okay. But yeah, this bo boss fight and the Robo Magnus boss fight, I can only imagine the amount of quarters lost. At least there's only three more levels after this. Damn, son. Yeah, too bad picking him up doesn't really do anything. <laughs> Pretty much if he knocks you down, you're dead. The best I can figure is you must maybe need to hit him when he's jumping? God, bro. You literally cannot hit him, pretty much. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I, I guess you can hit him, but god, does it have to be well-timed. Like, so well-timed, it's pretty much ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, this makes Dark Souls look like a cakewalk. The Klinger Ringer! Ah... Oh. So I think this thing is called the gyro cycle. Oh, right. Uh, so as I recall, I think you have to hit the exact right. So I'm gonna switch to D-pad. Oh, this is gonna be hell. You know what, since I made it past that stupid rat and I don't know if there's there's gonna be another part that um might glitch, I'm gonna go ahead and save. <laughs> 